Hello everyone, Adam Oliver here of Adam's Animation Academy and I'm here with a very short tutorial but very essential, although not the most exciting topic, about uh, folder structure and how things save in the software and basically what happens when you delete things in Toon Boom because it's not the easiest um, structure sometimes to understand, especially for a newcomer. So I'm going to explain to you when you delete something it actually means you've deleted it and what why and where and how and who. Basically, let's avoid deleting things we don't want to delete and how to keep things there if we want to reference them later in versions of the same animation. So that may sound a bit involved, but basically this short video is going to give you everything you need to know to make sure you don't have one of those moments where you go, oh my word, I deleted it. How do I get it back? This is going to save your rear end a few times and uh, hopefully save you a few headaches too. Let's have a look. As you can see I've got a little demo animation here. It's very simple. It's a flower sack exercise like they do um, to teach people about weight and animation principles. I'm sure many of you have done this before. This is just a rectangle, a brown rectangle with deformers on it as a group, then a peg, and a peg for the shadow, shadow shape itself, and a color card. So this is replicating a little bit of a, an animated scene. Now, what do I do if I want to change the animation on this, but I want to make sure this version is saved and I'm not going to accidentally overwrite it? Well, this is where Toon Boom starts to get complicated. And to understand deleting, we also need to understand saving and file structure. So let's have a look inside the folder first. So this is my folder. Um, this is inside the folder. So the scene is called flower sack jump with underscores. When you name a file, it will create a folder with the same name and that's why it won't allow you to use spaces. It likes um, underscores, hyphens and things like that. And uh, your .x stage file, if you're not working on a server, that's what it will call it. So there's the file inside a folder. Then you've got lots of other things going on here as well. Now yours might look a little bit different. Mac looks different to PC, but the basics are the same. The folders are the same and the files are pretty much the same as well. So what's the what's the reason? What's what's the setup here? Well, basically, because we're saving into a folder structure, you need to consider this folder as your file, really. And then the file inside and everything that goes with it is just part of that. Don't think about it as moving this file around, because if you take this somewhere and you try and open it up, it won't have any images in. OK, you need all these folders inside this top folder. So it needs to be zipped and sent around. That's the only way you're going to be able to view that file on a different computer and um, share it with anybody else or a different workstation. Now that's going to explain to us what happens when we do saving versions here. Okay, so if we just quickly, uh, I may go into this in another video, but if I was to go file save as new version, it's just going to ask me what I want to call the new version of the file. So let's call it v2. Press OK. Now when I bring this up, I now have a flower sack jump underscore v2 dot x stage. So there's two Harmony files, but importantly, they're all referencing or inside the same big folder. They're referencing the same folders in here, the same images, the same palettes, and so on. Now that means that if I was to delete um, images inside this version, it will also delete them in the other version. OK, because they're sharing the same folder. And that's why if you want to save something and make sure it's not going to affect any previous versions, you need to go File, Save As. When you do that, it will ask you to, to create a new folder. You can't create that same folder inside here. You have to go up a level and then save it out there. So maybe you make a, an actual folder called flower underscore sack underscore jump underscore v2. It's starting to sound complicated, and it is a little bit. You just got to remember that everything inside this folder is basically associated with that file type. Now, you can, if you are feeling confident and you don't want loads and loads of folders, you can save as new versions and avoid deleting those files in previous versions if you are clever about it. So say I want to delete this this shadow in version 2, but in version 1, the original, I want to keep it. If I select this and press the backspace to delete it, you get this pop-up. 
and it says to you select nodes and columns are about to be deleted please confirm this checkbox delete drawing files and element folders is relating to this folder inside this folder is um, a folder for each layer on our timeline and every drawing shadow hyphen one dot tgv has its own drawing inside your actual computer so everything created in the toon boom folder also exists um, inside a, a file on your computer so if you were to uncheck this and press ok then save it and then we were to open up the previous version so here we can see in the original the version one we still have the shadow and its peg um, and importantly that folder is still there in the elements folder it's just not being used in version two okay so that's what that special kind of uh, little checkbox does the downside of doing this method obviously is that you need to remember to uncheck that box it will be checked now um, so if I press this it will be unchecked or checked depending on what your previous version is so whatever your last uh, choice was it will remember it now it often will reset when you restart the computer so you're gonna have to remember in the morning when you're still waking up with your coffee or whatever else you do to wake yourself up in the morning this is an option that you're going to have to remember to do otherwise you are going to get yourself into problems where you're going to try and do file recovery and it's going to be a massive headache so my two rules are obviously you can do this remember to uncheck the box and always keep backups and i guess the the third rule is if in doubt use save as Okay, so I hope that's been useful to you about the deletion and saving and a few little bits in between of harmony and uh, go forth and animate and may you never have to do a file recovery. All right, everyone. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.